Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to you. 5 Minute Eats and today we've got a little snack and food item for you. Snack attack. This one is a an interesting one. I was gonna say a meaty one, but it's not really meaty, I don't think. This is the Kim's Hot and Spicy Chicken Cracklings fried out chicken fat with attached skin. This is a two ounce bag of it for $1.99. And these people are out of Clarksdale, Mississippi. Clarksdale, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. So we've traveled um, all over the country. And I would say the two most depressing states for me was Mississippi yep. and Louisiana. Yeah. And um, I didn't really find any good food there. And I'm not surprised they're taking fried Chicken fat. Yeah, fried out Fri chicken fat. Yeah. This with is, attached skin. What? This is their snack. This is what they do. Yeah, not, now, if, do you recall that we actually did, I think it was a pork cracklin not that long ago. Yeah. Um, Cause that was also like fried out pork fat with attached skin and that was very interesting. Now I like the packaging. Yeah, you know what, doesn't it remind you of one of those other pork rind yeah. companies? I feel like it looks similar to theirs. Similar to like, um. Like, or this is something that I would expect from Vintners. Oh, yeah, 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 know? Vintners. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review over Degro Shedem. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now, these are some big pieces. They are. Initially, I thought this was like um, a fried chicken. Yes, and you know what? Here's the thing. I initially was very turned off by this, but once I started looking at it, I was like, oh, it kind of looks like pieces of just like fried chicken skin, you know? But I've noticed some spots where there's some feathers still left, and oh, I'm no. very disturbed by that. I'm I'm very displeased by it. I, I, I like uh, to me to me that's a level of laziness that yeah. that, that I can't. Kim abide. is a lazy. Look at this. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> but we're gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. How does I it just want to say, like you know. In the South, you always hear like the life is a little bit slower there, right? Like maybe so, it's the people that are home a little slower. They don't got much going on. I can on. say that because like, I come from the South. You know, okay. not really. <laughs> not, not the deep South. Yeah, not the deep South. I come from the respectable South. <laughs> Uh, I would say middle America, but not really the South. I know? mean, technically it's the South. I'm just wondering what this, this looks like a heart or something. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I think this whole idea of, um, fried fat just seems crazy but if you'd like to support this channel the easiest way to do that is using our amazon links the next time you shop there welcome back our rating system thumbs up right again thumbs down we will not so for me this is a thumbs down this thing is gross gross man i will not ever uh understand any of this stuff because why take chicken fat and fry it out. Yeah, it out. just gross. Um, is this hot and spicy? Not really. Mm. I was very shocked by this. It was not hot and spicy. It had a lot of seasoning in it, but this thing, when I put it in my mouth, it kind of, um, it was crunchy, but also it melted in my mouth. Yeah. Um, I think though it was mm. gross. I ate it, but I wanted to throw it up. And there's no way I could finish this whole bag. This is just gross. I would rather, mm. Talk about a night and day difference between this and what is that other stuff called? Um, oh, um, pork rinds. Pork rinds, yeah. yeah. This is like a night and day difference. Huge, huge difference, man. This is like, the pork rinds are good. This, this is just gross. Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Wow, okay. It smells too. Like in my mouth that is. I concur. I concur. For me, it's a thumbs down. This is absolutely disgusting. And it does smell in your mouth. Like, like it's almost like the, the aroma of it is like hanging out in there. And every time you breathe, you you're smelling it up your nose. It's, it's disgusting. This thing now to the melt in your mouth thing, to me, it seemed like when you put it in your mouth and you crunch down on it, you like, you get that initial crunch. But then it felt like there was almost like a gusher of the oil coming yeah. out of the skin. Yeah. And then that was like kind of making everything melt. So it was almost kind of like just this, this oil soaked crusty piece of nasty fat. 
It did not have a good flavor. I don't think it tasted at all anything like hot and spicy or even spices really. No. Like it was kind of like the flavor of the oil and just the fat itself and the, the skin just took over everything. There was no discernible good flavor to this. Also, there's some very highly suspect pieces in here. Yeah. Like there are pieces that look like there's some dark funky bits. I don't want to be eating those. You know, I feel like this is one of those things where people have held on to this like regional cuisine because it meant something to like generations before them. But sometimes it's, it's okay to just let things go. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use your Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.